example two. Here, they don't give you a triangle. They're just giving you um, these measures. So A is 10, measure of angle B is 40, measure of angle A is 55 degrees, find B. So we know we're going to use sine of A over A equals sine of B over B. So sine of, what's A? Measure of angle A is 55 degrees over 10 equals sine of, measure of angle B is 40 over B is what we're looking for. Um, to continue here, B times sine of 55 equals 10 times sine of 40 divide sine of 55. Don't, do, don't separate these, sine of 55 have to go together. Divide this by sine of 55 degrees. So you just take your calculator. 10 times the sine of 40 divided by the sine of 55. So B equals 7.8. So all this B equals all this is 7.8. Okay, so uh, just make sure you multiply the sine of 40, punch in sine 40, multiply that by 10, divide it by sine of 55. Okay? And the next one. Here's side C, side B, angle B, and find angle C. So I'm going to use sine of B over side B equals sine of angle C over side C. So sine of B is 42 over 15 is equal to sine of C, that's what we're looking for, right? Over, and then side C is 12. Cross multiply, 15 sine of C equals 12 sine of 42. Divide the 15. Sine of C is equal to 12 times the sine of 42 divided by 15. So it's 0 0.5353. I need to find my angle measure. Okay, so I'm going to second and sign the inverse sign of 0.5353. So measure of angle C is 32.36 degrees. Okay, we're going to solve the triangle. That means we have to look for measure of angle C. We have to look for side C and side A.